Hey guys, it's Marco from Nari Media, and today I got another big update. There's been a lot of AI changes and updates lately here, but a cool one is Google just launched through Google Labs Pomeli. Now this is an AI tool where you throw in your URL and it's gonna create content for you. So I feel like I've tested a few of these and you know, I haven't been super happy with the results. So I'm gonna show you today, step-by-step step, how to get there, how to use it, and yeah, my feedback on it. So yeah, let's get started. Head over to Google, or if you're using an AI browser like uh, Atlas or Perplexity, type in Google Labs. And from Google Labs, you click here. You scroll down on the Labs page, you'll see it's featured right here, but it's it keeps flipping. So, you know, uh, it might not be there when you go down, but you'll see it here as a recommended tool and you just push try it now. Now what this does is it it's gonna scan your website. So if your website really isn't that great and you don't have that much content on there, you're not gonna get the best results. So same thing with AIs, the better the input, the better the output. If you have a really great website with great content and you just redid the branding and you didn't redid the copy and you're hitting those keywords, this will work better for you. Anyway, let's just get started here. I've already been in here, so it's loading a previous website and domain that I did. And it seems like per Google account, you just get one brand. So you can go over here to these top three arrows and you, we're actually gonna reset the business DNA. And now we're going to go, let's go. It's gonna pop in Nari Media. Now, what it's doing is it's using, using AI to get your business DNA. It's gonna, it's gonna write in the tone that you've put on your site. It's gonna pull images from your site. It's gonna pull your logos from your site and it's gonna create a bunch of different campaigns. Now, I reached out to um, Google Labs on X and I asked if there's a scheduling tool because right now, one thing and one issue is, you know, you create this content, then you gotta download it. Then you gotta put it into a scheduling tool or whatever scheduling tool you're using. And they said they'll pass that on to the developers, but it's just not here yet. So it'd be great if you could create the content and from here you could schedule to X, um, you know, Meta, uh, Instagram. And here it says five minutes. The last website I did said about 10 minutes. I'm, I'm sure it depends. Oh, look, that was super fast. So you can see here, it's pulled a bunch of images from, cause we embed in Instagram, so it's pulling stuff from Instagram. It's pulled our icon, logos, images, and it pulled the font and the colors, pretty cool. Look at this, it pulled the tagline, AI driven marketing made simple. That's what we're doing here today. Minimalist professionalism, pretty good. And then it gave a business overview. So if it didn't, if you, if you wanna add a logo, you can add it in here. So I just popped in my logo there because then you want, you want a crisp high resolution, probably a PNG so it's transparent in the background. And if you need to make any changes, you can make it here. If that's not your font, you can quickly just edit it, go through the fonts. You can add a font too if you have a custom font. Also images, so if you wanna create a bunch of images in Nano Banana, you can go in here and just add them all. Say, hey, use these images for the ads because you're gonna see when I press create, it's gonna create using these images. So you could even spend a day generating like 100 Nano Banana images or stills that you wanna use and throw them into the image size here because this is what it's gonna use in the content. It's gonna create new content as well, you'll see here. And yeah, everything looks good. And this is gonna create the DNA and the brand voice for Nari Media. So we have these icons on our site and it seems to be pulling these. And you know what? I'm not too happy with <laughs> these right now, but you know what? Let's just click on it. So these are the suggestions here. You can add different creatives. So let's go back to campaigns. It's creating a few campaigns. So let's create a campaign for, so I popped in website design. It's gonna generate more ideas and let's see what it comes up with. And the marketing overwhelm. So it's gonna create a series of creatives for that, for ending the marketing um, overload. So here, the overwhelm, sorry. So here's kind of the campaign it's gonna focus. It's gonna do a couple posts based off this campaign. So if you're doing like, let's say a Halloween campaign, cause it's tomorrow's Halloween, uh, it'll generate all that campaign based off there. So you got four posts, bang, 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 put them out. And it's taking some of these from the site. So this is actually one of our header images. And this here is from one of the websites that we've built, took the screenshot and added it here. And this is all new. <laughs> this, it created the AI image there. And it, 
<laughs> it threw me in there because it's <laughs> something about I would never post that. But um, we can add more creative as well. You can change up um, the aspect ratio. You can add your own header called the description image. If we wanted to add a certain image, like here's this is our dog here, we'll say. And because this is built in through Google, of course it's using Nano Banana, but I'm curious if they will also expand to video creatives like shorts, um, because that is through VO3. It's not in here yet, I haven't seen it. I'm sure it'll come in like <laughs> the next update. That's how quick, see look at that, stop guessing, start growing. So you can add in your own images. Now if we go here, this is your business DNA. You can update it as you need. These are, this is where your campaigns will reside. So you can have different recent campaigns, old campaigns. This is just based on your site. I do really like how quick the image generation is. It can give you some ideas. Honestly, I don't know if I'll be using this content just yet. That's my own personal um, opinion here. I still am a huge fan of Canva and a little more creative control as well. But yeah, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed and yeah, check it out. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I got more cool tools coming soon. I know VO 3.1 came out uh, last week and it's amazing. And I'm gonna be filming another long uh, workflow, my new workflow that I'm doing for AI video creation and that I'm creating some really cool stuff for some brands. And yeah, thanks so much for watching.